Hello, class, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Hello, uh, teacher. Hi. Pretty well, teacher. Are you cold? Uh, a little bit. You're a little cold. Me? Yes. No. Oh, okay, I thought I thought you were cold. I was wow. No. All right. I'm going to put you in hold one second. Please hold on. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, so let's start. So how was your Tuesday? For me, excellent. Yes, what Just, did you do? It was my... Uh, day off. Oh. I was resting. Wait, I, I remember you work in a beauty salon, correct, Nuni? Yeah. Yeah. So your, your, your day off is. Tuesday and Sunday. Uh, mm, no, only yesterday. You only have one day off? Yes. Okay. And one short day, I imagine. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, li I like to have a weekday off. It's good because um, you rest. <laughs> yes. Okay, so let me see. How's the rest of the class? How you doing? Thank you, sir. I was good? working. Cojutepeque. You went to work to Cojutepeque? Yeah, I, 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 I was a working there right this day. But you are a motivational speaker, correct? But in this moment, only prepare document about the prep and this day specifically. But one thing though, um, Luis. What you do is that you are a motivational speaker, correct? Yeah, it, it depends the, the projects. 
it depends the the trainer, uh, the the little speech or whatever. And this moment, um, we are working with a trainer, uh, entrepreneurship. Entrepreneur. Uh -huh, entrepreneur. It, it depends, uh, for example, on the, the in February, in, in February, and we uh, we were a trainer about the uh, the, the business, but. A uh, small business, the company, uh, 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 the small business, uh, me payment, right? Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I don't know, but uh, in, in, in English exists about abilities and the job, but uh, now they and the, and the, the trainer and in our in our trainer, uh, there are uh, abilities uh, uh, for the job. It introduce and that and that topic introduce about motivation, but uh, emotional uh, topics and psychology too. Ah, oh, interesting, interesting. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Larry, oh my God, you are quiet today. You're not watching TV. And, and you don't have, you don't have feedback. I I was in mute. <laughs> oh, oh, that's fine. <laughs> Thank you for your honesty. No, but <laughs> you you know what? I I yes. have I have two three job interviews today and with the same equipment and uh, I. I asked them to to tell me if if they hear any noise, and they tell me that there's no noise. Really? I don't know why, but it was clear. Yeah, it was strange. You had yeah. three job interviews today. Yeah. Wow. And what and what what area are you looking for? IT. For IT, yeah. Do you know? Um, do you? You worked in call centers before, right? No, never. I have been working uh, on industrial and commercial. Uh, yes. Ah. Um. Jobs only. CESA, uh, uh, and you and you give IT support, like um, yeah. computer-wise, web. Yes, always. Okay, interesting. It's part of, it's part of the job. Okay. All right. Interesting. Nice. All right. Okay, class. Let's start. So yesterday we were doing. Um, uh, we we're talking about cities, right? We learned many things about Metapan, Sao Paulo. We learned not to swim in the river of Sao Paulo. Yes. <laughs> okay. Because it's, it's, it's the equivalent of a Sewate River, but worse. Okay, uh, now listen, we're going to use in this lesson, let me share the screen with you. Okay, in this lesson, we're going to learn how to use noun modifiers in the correct order. Do you know what is a noun modifier? Okay, let's listen to the video then. Let's continue talking about places. I think Antigua Guatemala is a Pinterest, small old town with an incredible history. Yes. Yes. 
Yes, teacher. Okay, Let's continue is... talking about places. I think Antigua Guatemala is a picturesque, a small old town with an incredible history. Order of modifiers. We will begin this lesson by reminding you about adjectives. What are adjectives? Adjectives are words that describe or tell about nouns or pronouns. They make sentences more interesting. They give details that make your meaning clearer. They tell what kind or how many. Now, when two or more adjectives modify a noun, they must follow a particular order. Adjectives or modifiers follow this particular order. Opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin, material, purpose, and the noun. Let's talk about each one. Opinion. An opinion adjective explains what you think about something. Often people may not agree with you. Examples. Silly, beautiful, horrible, difficult. Size. A size adjective, of course, tells you how big or small something is. Examples. Large, tiny, enormous, little. Age. An age adjective tells us how young or old something or someone is. Examples, ancient, new, young, old. Shape. A shape adjective describes the shape of something. Examples, square, round, flat, rectangular. A color adjective, of course, describes the color of something. Examples, blue, pink, reddish, gray. Origin. An origin adjective describes where something comes from. Example, French, lunar, American, Eastern, Greek. Material. A material adjective describes what something is made from. Examples, wooden, metal, cotton, paper. Purpose. A purpose adjective describes what something is used for. These adjectives often end up with ing. Examples, a sleeping, as in sleeping bag, roasting, as in roasting tin, and then the noun. The noun, the figure that is receiving the adjectives. Now, take a look at some examples of sentences using adjective order. Silly, young, English man. Huge, round, metal, bowl. Small, red, a sleeping bag. Old, green, wicked witch. Now that you know about modifiers, try to write a couple of sentences using as many as possible. Then, share them with your class. An opinion adjective explains what you think about something. Okay, so let's let's say a determiner. Determiner is an adjective, is singular or plural, definite or indefinite, next or far. Examples, a car, an apple, the book, the flower. Those are the determiners, okay? An opinion, an opinion is an adjective that explains what you think about something about something or someone. So basically it's an adjective, but the adjective modifies the name. Like let's say opinion. I think Scarlett Johansson is a very beautiful woman. Horrible. Um, Ukraine and Russia at this moment are having a horrible war. I have a question. Is the war still active? <laughs> yes. But I don't see many, well, I don't see any news of people dying. I mean, I imagine they are dying, but so I, I, what kind of war is this? 
the crazy one. Yeah. Because now, like, I remember it was big news only like the first two or three days, and now it's like. Oh. I don't remember if it was today or yesterday, but uh, I saw a news showing a, 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 a apartment building mm -hmm. that was uh, impacted by. Oh, yeah, it was the street. Was, yeah, it had an impact, a bomb. Yes, it's true. Okay, now we have size. What is the pupusa loca? It's a large pupusa. Can I can I use the the last one of opinion? Difficult. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, it's very difficult to remember this order of these things. I have never used it correctly. Oh no, it's okay. There, there's really no order. There's really no order. It's just, it's just like if you want to express a determiner, an opinion, a size, age, you just put that before the noun. For example, origin. Who can give me an example with origin? Let me see. 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 Miguel Franco, using a origin as a modifier, can you tell me who is Elton John? Uh, Elton John is a singer uh, uh, who born in England. Yes. So he's an English singer. English singer. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Yes. You're using an origin right there. Um, Esther. Hi, teacher. Hello. Can you tell Hello. me what is Mercury? Um, sorry, repeat me. What is Mercury? Mercury. Uh, I don't know, teacher. Mercury. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Hierro, metal, but Mercury. What is Mercury? Okay, I, I, let me... Uh, Chemical element. Yes, but make it easy, like simple. What is mercury? It's liquid metal, no? No, yes, I don't know, maybe. Yes, it's, it's liquid. <laughs> yes, uh, instead, mercury is liquid metal. Liquid metal. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think Terminator 2. Remember the <laughs> el malo de, de el villano de <laughs> yeah. Se deshacía. Yeah, but remember that was I think that was Mercury, no? The liquid metal go back. And Mercury is the only one is the only metal liquid. So no you other. Play. Okay. You, you find you find like that in the in the in the earth and the or you you is created the the mineral. The that is mineral. a that, that is a good question. Let me see. Luis Molina is mercury created or is natural? For me, it's, it's natural. But you can find a different form, no, not like that liquid, right? I think when it becomes liquid, it's called mercury. I don't know. That's a good question. Probably, it's a, uh, yeah. Probably it's a piece. Uh, a little. There a are hard, there are two piece, things. Right? There are two things I never ever ever liked in school. It was science and math. <laughs> I really i I have a problem with math. It's her. Yeah, because I have it's a problem. Hot. With... Only if it's hot, is is a liquid. I, I think because with a high temperature is uh, no, but mercury it. mercury can just be liquid liquid metal. It no. doesn't have to be hot. Yes, teacher. The Wikipedia says that mercury is a heavy metal 
that, uh, how to say, uh, environmental temperature is correct, uh -huh. is liquid and is in inodoro. We'll clean in the inodoro, right? <laughs> really? Yes. Okay. With no smell, that means. Yes. Yes, with no smell. <laughs> oh, it smells like that. With no smell, with no smell. Yes. Without the smell. We have, uh -huh. Without smell. Yeah. Without smell, right. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Well, anyways, we understand what, okay. So <laughs> here the, um, the noun modifier is liquid. <clears throat> liquid metal. Musically, what is Slayer, Alex? It's, it's, it's Slayer. Yes. Slayer, Pantera, Metallica, what are they? It's a, it's a rock band, it's a metal band. Yeah, but they're it's trash band, metal, right? trash metal, heavy where are they metal, from? ugly metal, pop metal. I mean, but remember that the objective is that there has to be a modifier before the noun. Okay, for example, uh, let me see. Miley Cyrus is a singer. Very good, simple. But if we want to use a modifier, if we want to use an opinion about Miley Cyrus, we say, Miley Cyrus is a beautiful singer. If we want to say uh, young, uh, age, Miley Cyrus is a young singer. If we want to say a shape, Miley Cyrus is a thin singer. Correct? That's the objective. So let me start with you, Alex. Who is... Who is Nicolás Maduro? Please tell me I'm now in modifier. And then... Okay. He's a, a president of Venezuela. Is a Venezuelan president? Okay, good. Origin. He's, a, he's the Venezuelan president. Good. Yeah. Alex, can you ask someone in the class, please? Okay. Um, Irene Hernandez. Um, I was expecting to say my name. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, um, what is um, um, the okay, let's do one thing. Let's do one thing. Let's do one thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, 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 it's okay. Um, just think of anything, think of pop culture, think. Think about El Salvador, think about United States. If you want, you can say who is, um, who is uh, Cocolito? He's a funny, supposedly, he's a funny character in El Salvador, or he's a famous character in El Salvador. Um, okay, but let me see, let's do this. Irene, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the, what is, who are the Generacion Cristal? <laughs> Do you know who they are? Maybe the millennials. Who are the millennials? Because I, I heard something about, but I'm not sure because um, there was a meme that talked about the people um, from the, that was born from 17th and, and just for 17th uh, versus people uh, was born from 19th and they say that there was a, like a crystal and the other was either uh, stronger. Okay, all right. But I'm not sure if it's, if it, if it's the correct answer. To be honest with you, I really don't know. I think Generación Cristal is the youngest generation. 
it's, oh, the yes. young, it's the young generation now that everything affects them like oh my god mm -hmm. oh my god the sun is too hot i need a psychologist yes <laughs> oh my god my mom my mom called me stupid yes. i want to kill myself <laughs> so probably they born yes, after is. after 2000 right i think they're born oh, in two, yes maybe in after 2000 years not all mm -hmm. of them but the majority. <laughs> yes the youngest people they want to go to the psychologist why because mm -hmm. when i was a baby my father did not put a seatbelt. <laughs> he didn't care about me yes he did no he didn't if he cared <laughs> when i was a baby <laughs> my cousins me and like 20 kids in the back of a pickup boom, 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 with no security yeah. and no yes. adults. Yes. Everybody teacher transform and, and crystal conduct when talk a political or social or, or soccer. Yeah, it's, it's true. No, but you know what? I, th I think some things are ridiculous. For example, do you watch Sesame Street? Plaza Sesamo? Yes, yeah. sometimes. You know that they don't have Cookie Monster anymore? Why, teacher? Because he's a bad example to the kids because he eats cookies and that's too much sugar. Really? I promise you, I'm like, my oh, God, so ridiculous. What kind of, of future, no, why can't, what kind of future people we will have for the humanity? I know, I know. Well, I think it's up to us because um, if my son ever comes with anything strange, I'm gonna kick him right there. You sure, teacher? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> no, I do, I do. Okay. But no, I'm like, don't cry, don't cry. Nah, Jackie. <laughs> it was sweet. Yes. <laughs> All right, let me see. Let me see who else is here. Sonia. Hi, teacher. Hello. Okay. Um, ima imagine I don't know. So you have to explain to me. What is, what is a pupusa? Now, just try to keep it simple with simple words. Don't give me a technical explanation. Just give me something simple. Uh, pupusa is a uh, uh, round figure. I'm sorry, so what? Shape. Redonda. It's our own food. Okay. Like pizza? Okay, class, this is, where you, this is where you need to practice your English. Don't complicate yourself. What is a pupusa? Look, there are many. You can say an opinion, you can say a size, you can say shape, a color, origin. What is a pupusa? Let me look on origin. It's a Salvador, it's the Salvadorian typical dish. I am look on um, shape. What is a pupusa? It's, it's similar to, it's like a round tortilla. Round tortilla with a is stuff stuff, is uh -huh. stuff with cheese and beans. I am looking material. Material. Um, yes. um excuse me, teacher. Uh, yes. last weekend mm -hmm. I went to the panoramic route and okay. I know that they sell or they make pupusas with uh, masa de guineo or masa de yuca. 
I heard of you, Guineo, too. Wow, interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. You know how to say masa? No, I don't know. No. It's easy. Ya van a se van a quedar. Masa es dough. The donut. Dough. Oh, oh. I didn't know that. Yes. <laughs> so, is, so you can make a pupusa from corn dough? Exactly. Corn from, dough. From, from yuca. Rice dough. dough. Mm -hmm. Irena Rice. tasted pupusas made from banana dough. Banana. Yes. Interesting, nice. Yeah. For me, oh. it was new because I didn't know that they have those kind of food or pupusas. Yes. There's a place in Antigua Cuscatlan, La Carreta, I think it's called. I don't know if they still do that, but that's that restaurant I, I is the one that I've seen the most different varieties of pupusas. They have, for example, pineapple pupusas. Really? Yeah, they're good. Did yeah. you, did you uh, take it? Yes, I ate them, but they weren't really that good. But I, the idea was good, but the pineapple wasn't really that good, or maybe maybe they they choose the wrong the wrong <laughs> pineapple. They were a combination. Yes. Maybe they if they their tastes are sweet. Is sweet? Yes, because I think I think the pineapple should be very sweet. Uh, mm -hmm. but, but the idea is good. I tasted concha pupus. <laughs> but you you know you yes. may you may uh, I know some place over there in Santa Maria Stoma, they made uh, um, the pineapple pupusa, the cheese. You taste it similar as a, as a Hawaiian, um, pizza. Hawaiian, Hawaiian pizza, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. that's true. It's like the whole Hawaiian pizzas. Almost Hawaiian. all the pizzerias make Hawaiian pizza, but they're not all good. I love Hawaiian pizza. Right. But I don't know. I, I don't know what the trick is. The trick is the, the pineapple has to be probably the taste between um because they add the the, the ham, right? Some some uh, salt the ham and 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 sweet uh sweet combination with the pineapple probably made it made a little just okay. the, that's the taste for the Hawaiian pizza, right? Yes. The combination between sweet and, and okay. salt. Yes, it's true, maybe. Class, listen, if I say um, Bukele is a young president, what is the noun modifier? Don't. Young. Young, young oh, is the modifier, okay. so it's an opinion, no? Or mm -hmm. maybe age. Age. Okay, <laughs> age, opinion, okay, good. Opinion. What if I say um, El Salvador is a small country? It's a uh, size. Size modifier. Size modifier. It's not modifier, yes. Uh, let me see. I think it's Honduras. Honduras is the one that Honduras is a flat country, no? Mm. Or Tegucigalpa, that there's no volcanoes. I don't know if it's Honduras or Nicaragua, I forgot. Honduras, I guess. Because Nicaragua has the um, Volcán de Fuego, creo. No, that's Guatemala. No, they have another one that is a kind of famous. Let me check. Oh, okay. Let me see. Um, <clears throat> the Cuatepeque Lake is. Um, it's called Masaya, teacher. Excuse me. Comasaya. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yes. Comasaya is is um, turquoise lake, right? Yes. Masaya. Um, yes. There are many volcanoes um, in Nicaragua or at Nicaragua, teacher? In Nicaragua. In Nicaragua. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so uh, using a noun modifier, who is Miguel Franco? Who is, let's talk about something everybody we know. 
en El Salvador, who is el Mágico González? Eh, Mágico González is a famous player that the Salvador history. The most famous player. Or, yes, or... The most famous player. Okay, good. Yeah. What is the noun modifier right there? The most famous player. Oscar Oswaldo. Yeah. Alianza. <laughs> Alianza is um, the dangerous. The most dangerous. <laughs> the most dangerous uh, football team. No, football team in El Salvador, maybe. <laughs> okay, true, yes. Oh my God. Um, I am not an Alianza fan. I am an Aguila fan, but I admit that Alianza maybe is the biggest soccer team in El Salvador. Yes. Biggest, not the best, maybe the biggest or the most popular. The most, most popular, popular because uh, it's San Salvador team, I think. Yeah, maybe because of that. Yes. Luis Molina, Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi is the famous. Lionel Messi is the famous soccer player in the world, or in the worldwide. Is the most famous soccer player in the planet. It's a short. It's a short soccer player in the universe. Maybe in the universe. Because even in Jupiter, they know Messi. Or in Europe. Do you like ACDC, the band? Me no. A little old. Wait, you don't a little, like ACDC? A little old music. That's not a problem, but it's rock and roll. But. Not because I was going to show you this look. I don't know if you can see it. It's an ACDC watch. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> But it's cool because it's ACDC. Mm. You like them? Nice. I love ACDC, yes. Yeah, no, I know you're from the 70s, right? No, but you know what? The, the, no, I'm actually, my youth, my youth was the 90s. But when I was in the 90s, I listened to old rock, you know, like 80s. Mm. And look at the rock now, it's ugly. Yeah, so Linkin Park and and I, I grew up with uh, with alternative, you know. Alternative I grew up with alternative. Yes. The P.O.G. with uh, System of a Down with uh, Papa Roach. Oh. Yeah, no, that's where I stopped listening to rock in that moment. From that moment guys. back, <laughs> from that moment back is Pearl Jam, Nirvana, mm -hmm. Guns N' Roses. All right, so Claire. Waiting. Excuse me, I have yes. been waiting uh, for uh, uh, the new vehicles plates to uh, who gets the ACDC plate number, but I don't know if uh, anyone gets it. What plate? The plate number for a vehicle. You can get an ACDC plate number in a Salvador? It has to be because the plates are now with letters. Oh, that would be so cool, ACDC. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would never sell that car. <laughs> <laughs> but my favorite band is U2. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, they're cool. They're nice. Okay, so. So really like now modifiers is nothing, nothing, um, nothing out of the extraordinary, you know, noun modifier is just using an adjective to describe the noun. Example, Elton John, he is a British singer. He is a old singer. He is a great singer. He's a gay singer. He is gay. Mm -hmm. He is a pop singer. He is a rock singer. Before singer, all those are modifiers. Okay. okay. For example, shoes. Women. 
I, I'm going to say women because only you invent these things. Women need party shoes, work shoes. Um, Exercises shoes. Exercise shoes, running shoes. I don't know what the difference between running and exercise shoes are. Mm -hmm. The style. <laughs> they need like they need like five different black shoes. Yes. Like I don't know why you you already have black shoes. Yeah, but I don't have them high or low or or, lit, or open or closed. All those are noun modifiers. <laughs> Because imagine if you're, if you let's say your son or your daughter, Papa, I need shoes. What is the first thing you're going to think? Mm -hmm. Right? And it says, Papa, I need school shoes. I need uh, playtime shoes. I need tennis shoes. Yes. Okay. All those are noun modifiers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what is it with women? Why do you need so many shoes? Excuse like, me, teacher. Why, why do women need so many shoes? Uh, because we have to combine with uh, different kind of dresses. Yeah, with but, pants, for, for, yeah, but with for example, imagine you get invited to a party Saturday. The first thing you say is like, yes, I will go, but... Oh my God, I don't have shoes. <laughs> and you do, you do is just an excuse. <laughs> to buy a new one. To go buy shoes, yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't go with my wife at all. It's not my case, teacher. It's not my case. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think, I think I only have maybe four pairs of shoes. And out of the out of the four pairs, I never use three. I only use my normal. My, mm -hmm. <laughs> I have some dress shoes, just in case someday maybe I go to a party. But then that's it. Okay, so let's listen to this exercise. So we we'll listen to Maria and Ian talk about life in Sydney. Who seems to enjoy living there more? Okay, are you ready? Yes. Yes. All right, let's listen to it. Listen to Maria and Ian talk about life in Sydney. Who seems to enjoy living there more? How do you enjoy living in Sydney, Maria? I love it. I lived in a little mountain town in the U.S. before I moved here, so I'm really enjoying Sydney life. And the climate is great most of the year. What do you like most about it? Well, for one thing, it's a very easy city to get around. The public transportation is pretty good, which is important for me because I don't have a car. So, you see, I use buses and trains most of the time. I can usually get wherever I want to pretty easily. How about you, Ian? Well, it's a very beautiful city. I love the harbor and the opera house. And the beaches are great, of course. Oh, yeah, the beaches are great. There are great beaches close to town, like Bondi Beach. I know, it's true. But I don't have a lot of time to go to the beach because I have to work two jobs to make enough money to pay the rent. Actually, I'd really prefer to live somewhere smaller. I find Sydney too fast, too noisy, and definitely too expensive. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just lucky, but my rent's not bad at all. Actually, since I'm splitting the rent with two roommates now, it's about the same as I was paying in the U.S. And, um, yeah, I love the nightlife here, too. On weekends, my friends and I usually go to a club or a place with live music. There's always something interesting going on downtown. I've made lots of friends since I moved here. That's great. Ian, what do you do for fun in Sydney? Well, not much, I'm afraid. It's so expensive to do anything here. Also, you know, because of the high rents, I can only afford to live out in the suburbs. And there isn't much happening out there, believe me. Hmm. I guess once in a while I like to go to Chinatown, though. There are plenty of restaurants there where you can eat fairly cheaply. Good ones, too. Is that right? 
I can't seem to find cheap food anywhere. In fact, the restaurants near me are so pricey that I hardly ever eat out. All right, here's a question. If you could change one thing about the city, what would it be? The traffic, without a doubt. I used to drive back in my hometown, but I hardly ever drive here. There are far too many cars, and drivers are very aggressive. You have to know where you're going, and you have to drive fast, otherwise other drivers can be really rude. See, I don't have a car, so that doesn't really bother me. Actually, you know, I wouldn't change anything. It's so much better here than the tiny little town where I used to live. I don't know. Sometimes I think life is better back home. Sure, it's smaller, but it's easier to live a good life. And you get to know the people better, too. Okay, so... Maria and Ian. Who seems to enjoy living there more? Definitely Maria. Maria. I'm Maria. Um, which person has these options? It's easy to get around Sydney. Maria. 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 Hey, Larry. Hi. Guess what? Guess what? Mm -hmm. Tell me. Take a guess. Uh, the second one. No, the sound the started. The sound. Oh no, but it's not me. I have been muting. Okay, don't don't was, mute. Don't mute. Don't mute. A, a ghost don't mute. Here. Let me check something. Let me check okay. Something. Yep, it's you, Larry. Yes, it is. He is. <laughs> Maybe the he ha, he has a visit from unmute another planet. Uh, <laughs> or maybe Larry. a ghost is there. He lives near the airport. Larry, unmute. You're a mute, Larry. Okay, no, what? it's okay. Not, what had you It's not me person? because. No, I, I really think that it's not me because when you mute me, I am still hearing the the sound. So it has to be someone else. Really? Yeah. Okay, when I, I when, okay, I'll, I'll speak in my point. Like right now, you mute. I can't hear anything. What about you, class? Do you hear? No. No, we can't hear. Larry, what have you done differently three minutes ago? Because it was okay, but then yes. yeah, you moved did, something. Did you move? Did you move something? Did you turn mm. something on? Nothing at all. There is a eh? lost teacher. Yes. <laughs> a normal. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, but it, everything was good. But something, something happened. I try to analyze what happened. Did someone walk in the room, or something? All right, cool. So uh, number two, the beaches are great. The beaches. Okay. Yeah. Who said that, Maria, Ian, or both? Both. both. Maria. Both. Both. Oh, both. Both. Okay, both. both. The rents are expensive. Ian. Yeah. Ian. It's a fun place to live. Maria. Maria. The restaurants are all expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Life is better in a small town. Yeah. 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 Number fun is Maria. Oh, both. Maria. The rest, the oh, rest yeah. uh -huh. It's Maria. Maria teacher. Oh, it's Maria? Yes. I don't really believe in the platform, so. <laughs> I believe in myself. The platform has taught me to believe in myself. <laughs> right. Hey, that's a good, a good memory. <laughs> the platform has taught me to believe in me. Okay, instructions, it says, read the article. Are these statements true or false, correct? I'm sorry, choose the correct answer. 
So let me see someone who has not spoken that much today. It's a, it's a little rainy, right? Yes, it is. It's raining? At my home, it's raining. Yeah. Yeah. Right here is drizzling. Really? Oh. By my house, no. Yes, right here, sir. Okay, Esther, can, can you read the first paragraph, please? Okay. But hold on, let, let me see if I can. Okay. Hold on, let, let me see if I can. Um... Okay. Can you read now? Is that okay? It's okay. Okay, so please read the first paragraph until it says live, and then okay. you choose the second person. Go, Esther. Okay, Sydney has its opera house and harbor. Melbourne has Kian, old building, and park. Sydney has spectacular beaches, but Melbourne. Perdón, sorry. Melbourne is are less crowded than to Melbournians, and they say their city is best than to Sydney size, and they say Sydney is the number one place to live. Okay, good. So then the, the thing here is Sydney or Melbourne. All right, what is, um, do you have any questions in this moment? Um, harbor, harbor. Harbor. Yeah, harbor. Harbor is like, a, the same es lo que per union de el same per puerto. Yes, es oh. como, pero que lo que quieren hacer en el puerto de la Unión, quieren hacer un a harbor, un, un una plataforma. Or like a hub connection, no, no different. Ah, yes. yes. Remember, ya hay uno acá, de hecho, pero que es harbor. Oh, muy bien, muy bien. Como un puerto. Huella, un puerto, ya, yeah, un puerto. Puerto, muy bien, harbor. Ajá. Harbor es un puerto. Okay. What about quiet? What is quiet? Melbourne has quiet old buildings. Quiet is quiet. something positive, but it's something old. But nice, like for example, Suchitoto is a quiet city. What does that mean? Suchitoto is a very nice city and it's very old fashioned, the houses. Mm -hmm. I see yes. Okay. Okay. So by the first by the first paragraph, what do you think is the difference between Sydney and Melbourne? Uh, probably Sydney is is, is um, more more um oh, Melbourne is, is antique uh, antiques. Uh, okay, than, good. So yeah, maybe Sydney, right? Melbourne is more old fashioned and Melbourne is and yeah. Sydney is more um Modern. 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 Yeah. modern, modern. Okay. Yes. Esther, can modern you choose city. the second person to read the second paragraph, please? Um, Miguel Franco. Mm, okay. <clears throat> According to many Melbourians, inhabitants live a life of ideas, discussion, and debate. People are active in the arts and live well. Then, again, that's what Sin 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 Insider said about their city too. Sin 
So Melbourne and Sydney in that, they're both okay. The inhabitants, what is inhabitants? Uh, the habitants uh, in the city. Ideas in discussion. No, habitantes, yeah. and the, the people that live there. They like discussions, they like debate, they're active in art. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. Can you pick the next person, please? The third paragraph. Okay. Alex Cornell. All right. All right. Talk to Melbourians. And they will tell you the city has friend, friendlier and more outgoing people than Sydney. Most insiders won't disagree about their city being less friendly. You want me to continue? Yes, ne please. Nevertheless, they will be qu quick to tell you that it's a dynamic, world class city with tons of uh, things to do and see. Since I say they are always busy enjoying all that their city offers. Um, such as? Such as uh, the crushing. Crushing, crushing surf. surf. Crushing surf at Bondi front mm -hmm. or manly beaches. Beaches, beaches. Um, okay, in this case, I believe those are names of beaches. Right. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Bosch walks through the Sydney Harbor National Park, all browsing in Paddington's colorful weekends markets market. Uh, Nore, want to continue? Uh, okay, no, do you have questions? Um, yes, what is Bush Walk? Yeah, Bush Walk, sorry. Bush Walk is like, it's, it's, some, it's a walk that usually um, tourists do, usually with a map. Okay. Like they do a Bush Walk, like, hey. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, what is crashing? But uh, you're talking about this, the waves, right? Let me see. Crashing, yeah. surf, yes. Crashing has many meanings. Number one, crash, crash, un impacto, choque. So you can say a car crash. Yeah. Or you can say the waves. The, las olas, they crash on the. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And let me finish this for you. It says, people in downtown Sydney are always on the move. What is always on the move? And that they are uh, continue moving. Um, like El Centro San Salvador, really? Mm -hmm. El Centro is dangerous. Mm -hmm. I don't really think it's dangerous in the day. What I think is the problem is that people are always on the move. Yes. You know, people are always on the move. I don't, I don't think it's very dangerous because I don't think nobody is going to be very stupid to rob you in front of thousands of people. No, it's probably yes. it's, it's, areas. It's, it's, you know? Yes, it's, it's some areas. Maybe at night it's dangerous, like right now, maybe if I go. But if I go right now, it's beautiful because it's like you see the buildings. No barrier. Mm -hmm. Nobody is walking on the street. Yes. So uh, in Melbourne, so um, so people in Sydney are always on the move, rushing to make contacts, cutting deals, and gaining influence. Andan en la jugada. In Melbourne, yeah. eating out is a pastime. And the pace of life is slower and easier. So similar here, like to a Pueblo life. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what I love about Pueblos? When, when you visit a Pueblo in El Salvador, yes. you still see old people sitting in a park. 
-hmm. Yes. And you know, they live very distressed. Yes, and you always see that they dress well just mm -hmm. to go sit under a tree in a park. Yes. Yeah, and maybe they just eat one pan con pollo or papa or something. Mm -hmm. And typical, typical. And talk and talk with a friend. Yeah, and then you're like, that's it. That's mm -hmm. so cool. <laughs> so the uh, great sir. Okay, where am I? A life is slower and easier. Melbourne may not have the great surfing of Sydney, the beautiful Darling Harbor, or the Opera House. Instead, it's low key and savvy. You have to dig a little to get under its surface. But once there, you'll find a perfect example of a chic, ultra modern city. Sydney looks internationally for inspiration. But Melbourne, Melbourne trends to look regionally. To Japan, for example. In a word, if you were to compare them to America cities, Sydney would be sunny LA and Melbourne would be charming New York. Mm. Miren, me gusta esto que dice aquí el libro, ¿sí? Low key. Instead, it's low key. Do you know what is low key? No. Low key, low key es como. ¿Se acuerdan de Paul Walker? Uh -huh. El actor que se murió. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Sabe cuántas veces vino a Salvador? Pero he did a good job. He kept a low key. Ah, bajo perfil. Exactly. Uh -huh. Okay. Because nobody knew. Uh -huh. And, and savvy, what is the meaning here? Bajo perfil es seguro o, o a salvo. No, savvy es um, como sabio. Ah, okay. Okay. You know what? We'll continue this tomorrow. We'll do the reading again tomorrow. And um, we'll do the exercise, okay? Okay. Because okay. remember, Friday we have class. Yes. And Saturday. Okay. Okay. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, class. Thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. okay thank tomorrow. you. Very good night, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.